and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought that I would film a day in the life of owning a box turtle for you guys. I thought that I would show you all of the ins and outs of what it's like to own a senior box turtle. He is a rescue and I love him dearly. Just a quick disclaimer before we get into the video, I do want to mention that Koa is a 30 year old rescued box turtle. He doesn't look like your average turtle. If you haven't seen my video on his rescue, I will leave it for you down in the links below. If you have a different species of turtle or tortoise or you're thinking about getting one, please be sure to do the proper research for your specific species. In no way in this video am I encouraging anyone to go out and get a turtle or tortoise. They are huge responsibilities, they live a very long time, and they do have very specific needs. Okay, enjoy the video. So the first thing that I do every single morning when I wake up, not at any specific time, is I go into Koa's room and I turn on his heat lamp. Sometimes he's still maybe sleeping underneath the substrate and waiting for me to turn on that light to let him know to start the day. After I turn the light on, he will generally mosey himself over onto the rock and he'll start basking. When turtles bask underneath heat and UVB, whether it's in captivity or in the wild, it generally warms them up and gets their metabolism going. So after Koa's bask for maybe an hour or two, I'll go and start making his breakfast because I know that as soon as I bring it, he'll be ready for it. As you can see here, I'm prepping Koa's breakfast, just a mix of different fruits and vegetables that our box turtles save. He doesn't get all of the exact same fruits and veggies every single day. I do try to change it up a little bit here and there as much as I can, but I have tried over a dozen different fruits and vegetables and he is just extremely picky, which obviously he's a box turtle, so he's gonna prefer the live bait. I apologize if worms and bugs make you guys squeamish. I know they can be really, really gross, but live worms are a necessity for box turtles. They are omnivores, so they do have to have some sort of a live worm or protein as part of their supplement for their meals every single day. As you can see here, I have a mixture of greens. Even though he doesn't eat them, I still offer them anyway. I've got some bell peppers and some champagne grapes, which are the only grapes that he will eat, as well as some blackberries, which are his absolute favorite. Then of course, his worms, and we will also sprinkle calcium powder all over his food. Generally, while Koa is eating or before I feed him, I go in and I do a spot clean on his tank every single day. This is so important. You wanna make sure to get out any poo or any type of feces that you see in the tank so that it doesn't dirty up the substrate. I also make sure to clean and wash out his water bowl about every other day, depending on if he gets in it or not or if it's dirty, and then I will fill it up with fresh water. And that's pretty much it for Koa's morning. After I've spot cleaned his tank really thoroughly, I swapped out and cleaned his water bowl. He's done basking and I've given him his salad. I generally just let him eat and I kind of leave him be. Usually later on in the afternoon, about three o'clock, I will generally take Koa outside to get some fresh air. Now we don't do this every single day, weather permitting, we do it about four times a week but I will generally take him outside for anywhere from 15 minutes to 45 minutes, depending on the weather. I am a huge advocate for outdoor enclosures. If you can, I strongly recommend doing that. There is truly nothing better for your turtle or tortoise than getting them outside. The UVB rays are so good for their shells. It helps them to grow stronger bones. They absorb the calcium that you've been feeding them and there's just nothing better for them. While I do use an artificial light, mercury vapor, UVB and UVA bulb in his tank, eight hours of his mercury vapor bulb is the equivalent of about 30 minutes outside in the sun. The sun is so much better for them. It's so much more natural. So I definitely make sure to get him out as much as possible. After he's been outside and had a really long walk in the sun, he's usually completely exhausted. And so I generally just put him back in his tank. He usually buries down into his cool, moist substrate and he goes to sleep. And I generally won't see him until the next day. Okay guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me take care of Koa. Obviously, every day with Koa is always gonna be a little bit different, but this is a really good idea of what it's like to have a turtle. Turtles and tortoises are a huge responsibility and they are not something that should be taken lightly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Be kind, bye.